Hey guys, this is our booty video from 2017 Adepticon, and uh, this is the cool stuff we got. This was, well of course my wife over there has the unfair female advantage, and someone literally said, Hey, you bought, want a box of Ruin Wars? Here you go! <laughs> I was so mad, and happy. Um, <laughs> it's got a lot of undead, and... And uh, the other humanist troops are fine, but well, you know me, undead player. Uh, we saw our buddies mini war gaming, and um, so hey, I've already got one, but it's getting kind of old. So picked up another one for me and the wife. We did a game of uh, it wasn't Dark Age, it was it was Wrath of Kings. Wrath of Kings, and we did the demo, and we got two really cool uh, tape measures. Um, I have uh, a friend that has a thing for werewolves, and I kind of like them too, and um, I was thinking that um, gnolls would function as like like lower level werewolves that it might be, you know, bitten thralls or something, and I thought it'd be really cool to get a, a box set and have like uh, lower level werewolves and like higher level werewolves, so um, one of my many ideas that someday may come to fruition um, we played against, um, a King, gentleman from New York. Uh, no, this is 13th Legion. Yes. Was he, was he York, from New York? And they also have a chapter in Tennessee. And they have a chapter in Tennessee, and I believe they've got 13thlegion.com as their, uh, web domain. The 13thlegion.com. The 13thlegion.com. Um, super, super nice guys. Um, I had a wonderful time playing him. I, I apologize. I'm having a brain fart. I played so many people. I, I, His name I, is John. John. Okay. There you go, John. Thank you so, so much for the dice and for the shirts. And, of course, we've got all the armies for, <laughs> for Kings of War. So, when the Trident Realms came out, you know what we had to do. So, box set there. And then, I know, I've worked with Dead Zones before and, you know... That was your birthday Big, present. Yeah, that was pretty much my birthday present. I was thinking to myself, I really, really, really someday want to get around to doing uh, Hadley's Hope from LV423, which is uh, based on Aliens 2. Um, and um, the way that, that the pieces are, they're just, they're perfect for that kind of terrain. And if you remember, um, it blew up in the movie, and then they came out with a video game for it, and the Colonial Marines have to go back to it after it's been blown up. And I really think this is, I mean, Mantic makes it so easy to make such good-looking terrain. They really, really do. So, saw that, and I'm like, you know what? <sniffs> Gotta have it. So, that's that, guys. Hope you enjoy um, our little... Uh, delve into uh, going to Adopticon and I want to thank everybody that came uh, that, that keep it growing year after year um, and all the people that made it so freaking special and all the people we met and all the people we met you know Tyler coach Jack Rob um, who else Shane Shane Brian, Brian the whole crew Joe Neat uh, kind of took over for uh, when Ronnie couldn't make it, and let me tell you, they didn't skip a beat. He had the whole thing under control, and um, it's just so much fun. John Jack running the um, jet bike the jet bike places. where me and my wife, uh, I was literally one square away from getting third place and lost it, <laughs> but it was so much fun, and it just was an amazing time. So thanks everybody that came. Um, and most of all, thank I, I want to thank the players that come out because literally this couldn't happen without the incredible community that we have. And uh, I, I as uh, both a member of it and most importantly, I, I've got a lot of uh, subscribers that are just part of that community. And, and you guys are what make this such such an amazing group. So thanks everybody. Hope you had a great time if you came, and if you didn't come, we hope to see you next year. Love you all. Bye-bye.